Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your man, Chris Thorns. As always, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever you watch my content. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Ladies and gentlemen, got, um, got a story for you. Um, me is kind of quite confused because I'm not, I'm not sure where this story is trying to go or whatnot, but maybe some of y'all can understand what's going on here and can make a sense out of it. Help me make sense out of it. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Guys, y'all look over there with a spinning globe at. Y'all can tell me what that is right there. That is TikTok, okay? I don't know much about TikTok, never dealt with it, but I know a lot of people use TikTok. I'm assuming it's like Instagram or something like that. You could do like little short video clips and things like that with it and kind of have fun with it. Or just like any other social media site, whatever you choose to do with it, that's what you're going to choose to do with it, you know. Uh, and depending on how induced in the uh, social media popularity you are in, they can make you and break you. You know, that's for all these sites, you know, uh, for all social media, you know, depending on how you just let it consume you, it, it can make you and break you, all right? So with that being said, I want to bring something to your attention that caught my attention, all right? Um... Uh, Let's see here. Because what I'm finna play to y'all is a mother. A Delaware County mother was suing TikTok. Is a uh, suing TikTok because they daughter died from a challenge that was going around on TikTok. Okay, oh, uh, some about the blackout channel challenge or some shit like that you know these people these children i don't know what the hell they come up with but uh let's just take a listen to this all right after her daughter died while performing what's called the blackout challenge the mother says she never wants to see this happen to another family eyewitness news reporter howard monroe has her story I cannot stop replaying this day in my head. The unbreakable bond in our family is now shattering voice. The day is December 7th, 2021. That's when Tawana Anderson's 10-year-old daughter, Nyla, was found unconscious in her bedroom in Chester. Anderson says Nyla had performed the popular TikTok blackout challenge. Nyla died five days later. I want to hold this company accountable. It's time that these dangerous challenges come to an end, that other families don't experience the heartbreak we live every day. The challenge tells people to hold their breath until they faint. Our lawsuit is not about simply somebody posting the video. It's about the actions that TikTok took to send the video to Nyla. The lawsuit states that TikTok's algorithm targeted Nyla and other young people, bombarding her with these videos. Attorneys for assaults, Mongaluzzi and Bensky say at least six other deaths are associated with this challenge. We have brought this claim against TikTok saying it is inappropriate, unsafe, and dangerous to send these to children. And in addition to this lawsuit, the Pennsylvania Attorney General's Office, they are also investigating TikTok and the possible impact it's having on young people as well. Attorneys General from nine states are involved in the investigation into whether TikTok is violating state consumer protection laws. Nyla's mother says that she's doing what she can to protect other children. I accepted that my daughter's voice is going forever. So I'm going to speak for her in a message here today. And something has to change. Howard Monroe, CBS3 Eyewitness News. In a statement, TikTok tells Eyewitness News, we remain vigilant in our commitment to user safety and would immediately remove related content if found. Our deepest sympathies go out to the family for their tragic loss. Okay. <clears throat> I'm having a hard time trying to figure out how is this TikTok fault. Okay. Reason being
regardless of what video your baby saw, you know, it doesn't mean she had to participate in it. You know, I get it. 10 years old, they are curious and they want to be like everybody else. They want to be with the cool kids and things like that. And they want to have something to talk about a lot of time when they deal with social media. Okay. So I get, I, so as far as that goes, an aspect of it, you know, I guess you want to get that. It's somewhat understandable, somewhat, but not much, but still, how is this TikTok fault? Now, from my understanding, with a lot of social media now, you only get it in the algorithm if you've been looking at videos like that already, like YouTube. If you look at a certain channel, you know, sometimes they go, a lot of times they become your feed now until you tell them, I'm not interested in seeing this content or I'm not interested in seeing this person channel anymore. And you got the option to delete them uh, from anything that you think it will come to their channel. All right. I don't know if TikTok is the same way, but I'm pretty much sure it's somewhat similar or the same way. All right. Now, again, even that being said, you know, I don't see how TikTok's being blamed for this because uh, you saw the statement at the end, you know, if this video was found by one of the rest or whatnot, they would immediately took it down, you know? So, it's like videos like like that is like a virus. Once one put it up, I mean, it spreads like a virus, you know? Um, I don't know how TikTok goes by, you know, catching these videos and knocking them down one by one, you know? So, um, I, I, I'm just kind of choked up on this one because I, I seriously don't feel like this TikTok fault because here's the thing though. If this challenge was never out, would your daughter at 10 years old still be looking at TikTok? That would be the question right there. Let's just say, let's just take this video out the equation and say that it never hit the surface of TikTok or YouTube or whatever. Would your daughter still be looking at TikTok? You know, and here's one of the million dollar questions. Yeah, I know I talk about this a lot. What is a 10 year old doing on TikTok? Now, I don't know if TikTok has an age restriction or whatnot, or whatever case may have been, but I know I told you how I feel about children being on social media. And this is a prime example why I am against children being on social media because they mimic what they see. This baby at 10 years old saw a video that choked herself out or holding her breath or however the shit for say went until she passed out. She thought of it so cool that she wanted to try it herself. Same thing when they had this tired part challenge bullshit going on. You had a lot of idiots, uh, somebody put up the video, it spread like virus, and all these idiots start doing the, the, the tired part challenge. So again, how is this the platform fault? I, I don't get it. I, I just don't get it. And then I had to ask another question, you know, um, Ma'am, do you not monitor her when she on the internet? Now, I get it. You can't catch everything she do in a 24-hour span, but this is a 10-year-old we talking about, though. So are you not monitor, monitoring her when she's online looking at stuff? I mean, what is the problem when it comes to stuff like that and these young girls and these young boys when the parents are allowing them to be on social media? I, I, I don't get it. Where are y'all at when these youngins be on the internet? I want on y'all right there to see what are they doing. That's how a lot of these children get away watching a porn, uh, anime porn, ain't all type of stuff because they're not being supervised when they are on the internet. Okay? Or ma'am, maybe you have monitored your child on the internet, but this is one time you slipped. And she saw something that she should not have saw. But even with that though, even if she did saw it, that doesn't mean she had to do it. You know, so my my question is to this is who fault is it really? That is my question. Who fault is it really? 
Is it TikTok fault? Or is it a parent who just slipped on this one and was not watching her child while she was on the internet? So there would be there be the biggest question right there. Who fault is it really? I don't think it's TikTok fault at all. I really don't. I, I really don't. I really truly think, ma'am, you dropped the ball this time and you just didn't see what she was watching. Maybe you was at work or maybe you was taking a nap. Maybe you sleep or something and she just got whatever device she was watching and she went on TikTok and did this. But again, I don't know why a 10-year-old is on TikTok anyway. I don't know what a 10-year-old would be doing anything on social media, to be honest, if you ask me. I, I really don't know why would they be on social media, period. So, you can sue, be that as it may. But honestly, I don't know how far you're going to get with this. I don't. I don't think I can see you probably doing it right now. Maybe uh, TikTok can uh, put a little fire to their butt. And if they see videos like these going viral, they can shut it down quicker. That's the only way I can see. But to try to sue them for something that your daughter watched and she chose to participate in her own? I'm sorry. I just don't see where this is going to go. But maybe it will go somewhere. So with that being said, Let's see. With that being said, let's see. Um, mom sues TikTok after her daughter dies of the blackout challenge. A mother of Pennsylvania suing TikTok and his parent company bit dance after her 10 year old daughter died. Tawana Anderson says her daughter, Nyla, died after taking part in a so-called blackout challenge in which users are encouraged to hold their breath until they pass out. Anderson said in December of 2021, Nyla ended up in the intensive care unit and was hospitalized for several days before she passed away. The lawsuit stated that Nyla took the challenge after her For You page and the app showed her a video of it. See, I don't know what this is. The For You page I don't know what what it is. I don't, this is the first time hearing for you page uses videos based on algorithm, which is based on their viewing and engagement habits. The lawsuit goes on to say that TikTok algorithm determined that the blackout channel will be will be an interest to the ten year old girl. And I told you about that. The only reason I can see that it was, a, it was an interest to her because maybe she was already watching videos like this where people was doing crazy challenges. That's the only way I can see it. As it goes on to accuse TikTok of preying upon vulnerable users such as children. TikTok is preying on children. Hmm. I don't know. I don't use TikTok, so I, I don't know. The mother's now suing TikTok and be damned for wrongful death and negligence for undisclosed amount in damages. Now, see that right there? <clears throat> if this case is one, what, what's she going to do with the money? Undisclosed amount in damages. Wow. TikTok told NBC News that the challenge has been around before the app started and has never been a TikTok trend. See, there you go right there. This challenge has been around, they said, and it's never been a TikTok trend. So, ma'am, I seriously, I don't know, I don't know where you're going with this. I don't. I seriously don't know where you trying to go with this. Other than what's bothering me now, what I saw in that paragraph, you said for they said for un amount damages. All right, they don't have an amount. Oh, you're trying to get for damages, which make would probably make a lot of people believe that now that your daughter is gone because you dropped the ball. Your course actually is trying to get paid for the damages off your child's death. A lot, of, I, I guarantee you, a lot of people are gonna look at that. 
A lot of people are going to look at that. Because even if you win this money, it's not going to bring your baby back. It's not. But now, to all who've been paying attention to the store, their part really going to stick out right there. For an amount not mentioned for damage, their part going to stick out like a sore thumb. And a lot of people are going to wonder, are you doing this for a money grab now? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, mother suing TikTok because her daughter died doing a challenge that she saw that she saw on TikTok and the mother is saying it's TikTok fault because it was in the child's algorithm. As always, guys, y'all tell me how y'all feel about this. And please stay tuned for more stories, more updates. And um, I'll get back with you. I'll get back with you. It's your man, Chris Storms. Catch y'all next time. Peace. Thank mm -hmm. you.